Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a look at EVGA's GTX 560 Ti Superclocked Edition Graphics Card. And here it is, latest and greatest graphics card from the NVIDIA camp. This is the GeForce GTX 560 Ti Superclocked Edition card from EVGA. Now, this graphics card comes armed with 1024 megabyte or 1 gigabyte of insanely blazing fast GDDR5 memory. So let's take this card out of the box, have a closer look at the GTX 560 and see exactly what this card is all about. Okay, with the GTX 560 you will receive a gaming poster. Let's have a quick look at that poster. You will also receive an attention decal that says attention or ACHTUNG Please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of 2 minutes after operation before removing it from your system. That's right, otherwise you could burst into flames. Not really, but on we go. You will also receive an EVGA graphic card user guide, quick start guide, a DVD for your drivers and your case decal. With EVJ, they opted to go for sustainable packaging manufactured from recycled cardboard for the packaging components of this graphics card. Great idea, really support uh, the sustainable efforts. So there you go, EVJ and NVIDIA going green. Let's have a look inside this box. Okay, we have an assortment of accessories that come with this graphics card. One of the first ones you will notice is a mini HDMI to regular size HDMI adapter. You will also receive a DVI to VGA adapter. You will also receive two power dongles or power adapters and these are adapters from 4 pin Molex to a 6 pin PCIe adapter. And here it is. EVGA's GTX 560 Ti Superclocked Edition Graphics Card. So let's take the GTX 560 Ti Superclocked Edition Graphics Card out of the anti-static wrapper and let's check out some of the features of this graphics card. One of the first things you'll notice with this graphics card is the centrally located cooling fan. Now this graphics card does have an internal exhausting cooling solution. Fresh air is sucked into the centrally located cooling fan, flowed or dissipated across the air cooled heatsink on the graphics card and vented out the front and back of the card. Now I do find these cooling solutions are a little more efficient and effective than the external exhausting cooling graphics cards. but if you're going to use this type of graphics card on your PC, make sure you have adequate airflow and ventilation through your PC case. On the side of the graphics card you have your SLI connector. Now this card is restricted to SLI configurations only. You cannot utilize this card for three-way SLI or quad SLI configurations. On the back of the graphics card you have this large vent for venting the air off the card itself as well as a small mini HDMI port and two DVI ports. On the front of the graphics card you have your two 6-pin power connectors. So let's take a closer look at some of the specifications and functionality of this graphics card.
Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube or Facebook if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware. Thank you.